and I'm back. That didn't take very long, did it? Uh, All of I, don't, co-workers were gone. I don't really know how many more options Stan there are to, to the meeting room. Perhaps he had further this remember. story, I'd put it, rather than kill myself. Oh, fuck. Now I can't even walk through a door. Um, but yeah, I think... I'll give it, came to a set I think this will be the final episode, yeah. The correct way to the uh, whether there are or aren't well. any more Perhaps options, to stop by the employee lounge this will be the end. Just to admire it. Stanley Ooh, felt lightheaded, uh, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? A connection between the two, but eager to okay. get back to business, Stanley took the first a open door on his left. Later. Stanley was so bad at following directions, so, it's incredible he wasn't fired. I go red door. Yeah, red door. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I tried to go down there and I'm go sure. through that really door, but it kind of didn't work. I realize that your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about what? Really? Yeah. I was in the middle of something. No, it's you fine. Have zero consideration for others. I really I'm don't. That convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince well, you. you did this, get me killed multiple times, so it's fine. I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. Open the door. Oh, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh. Wow, I'm not colorblind anymore. Wow. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. I don't like it. Hmm. What's that? Do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. What's that? Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful. If we just stay right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh boy. What happens if I jump? Why is that always my thought? Like, hmm, what, what if I jump? What if I just jump? This is nice, but it, it, it'll go on forever, so let's... No, wait. Where are you going? I'm sorry. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! It's okay. It must end. Please, no, Stanley! Let me stay here! Don't take this from me! Oh man, that is... That is fucked up. I thought there was a door up here. Man, I really do like that Please, little heaven. Stanley, think about what you're doing. Well, talk me down. Talk me down. Maybe, maybe I'll go back, huh? Say something. Be like, back up. Go back downstairs. Go a little UFO landing pad type thing. Nothing. All right, I'll give you the count to five. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Yeah, fine. No! You didn't say anything. Oh. oh. Thank God, you lived. No, no, no. What are you doing, Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this, Stanley? Let's go back to the other room. My God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. <laughs> I don't know anymore. 
I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice. I feel quite all. bad for this guy. Well, this one is yours. Oh, this one. Okay. This oh, one. man, there it went. It's going to restart, isn't it? It will. I'm going back. It's fine. I feel quite bad for him. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed when Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The lounge was grand, majestic, perhaps too majestic. So it like did change. Like a combination change. of a much smaller... But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. All right. And so he detoured through the Already maintenance section, down, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Hmm. It's too late. I'm already here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm just trying to find alternate endings. What if I want to go down? I don't know what happens in here, so... I get it now. It's a little uh, theme song for myself. Okay, I think we all know the drill by now. Blah, blah, blah. Dark secrets, the keypad. Stanley pushes some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Oh, you motherfucker, you already opened it. So this is different. Something has changed. What has changed? Can you give me some more options this time? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Enormous. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't too be true. Too horrible to Had believe. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all really this time? Really, be under someone's was control. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring happy job? Happy with my boring that job. That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it. Manipulated? I... My own free will, right? No. Manipulated. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It Sounds like I'm in denial. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? 
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. So, I'm gonna just say that this is the end of the video because this is like, we know what happens after this unless they change the ending based on our save. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? He had won. He had defeated the machine. Yeah, we're done here. Unshackled himself um, from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. I'm and just going to let this play through. Even as the so. immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where yeah, that's... had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon so, his So yeah, skin. this is just where I'm gonna end it. Um, liberation. The I feel like this is gonna get too dull. Before him. Because me, I'm this gonna... Exactly I hate repetitive way. things. Right now, and this is getting real repetitive, so... I hope you That's enjoyed. Stanley. Uh, leave a like and subscribe, until next time.